Me again. Just got back from, no, not the flower shop, the grocery store. And let me tell you, look what I brought back. Kind of amazing, smell them. Go ahead, smell them. It is the number one thing I always have in my house, fresh flowers. It makes you feel so good. They smell amazing, they bring color into your house, and you don't have to spend all the money in the world. You don't need to go to a florist. You don't need to go to a flower market. Grocery stores have decent flowers. First up, I believe in the power of twos. What does that mean? Double your pleasure with buying two of the same flower for a really gorgeous, big, big arrangement. If you're doing like a double arrangement situation, you don't really need anything else, just these two. Now, after I slice them open, I normally keep them on top of the plastic here, so it kind of serves as a little covering to my surface. So I try to trim them so they're on the same length, but it doesn't matter because you always have to trim the bottom of your stems again. They're normally cut just in a straight line, so when we cut them, we want to cut them on an angle. And, oh, I love that sound. Um, I would just like you to see this mess here. Um, this is my big tip, okay? Don't just throw your flowers in a vase. Take off all those ugly leaves that just flop over. Nobody needs that. We wanna see pretty stems. Gosh, they're gorgeous. Okay, next up we have our one hit wonders. The one bunch you have to buy to fill a vase and that's all you need to do. Now typically, my one hit wonders are something that are bountiful, big, a lot of times they have leaves. So that's why I went with the lilacs here. Keep in mind, some of these branchy pretty flowers tend to shed a little bit. So just consider this your warning. Now typically when I get these guys, they're kind of branchy. I like to spread them out to see what I'm working with. So I can trim the bottoms a little bit and just put them right in the vase. If your stems are branchy like these guys, I kind of think they're ugly. So I like to find a vase that you don't see inside. So I like this white ceramic one. Now I cut some of them a little shorter in the front just so they could kind of cover this. And I left them taller in the back. And for our last arrangement, we have a combination of one, two, three items. We've got the rose, we've got the hydrangea, and we have the cute little chamomile flowers. We are gonna use just an everyday object like this ball jar here, which is basically like your typical jelly jar, and we're gonna split them up into three different arrangements. Take a look at your canister and simply measure and trim. Perfect. Next up, these little guys for a filler. And just like that, we have three adorable, sweet arrangements that will look perfect for table setting. So just to recap, we have the double dose, we have the um, one and done with the gorgeous lilacs, and the trio made with our three little packs of flowers. Now, just keep in mind, all of these flowers here came from the grocery store. Thanks, grocery store. You're the best.